A new report from the New York Times says that Brett Kavanaugh, in fact, did drink to excess and was belligerent when he did so. The proof? A police report that outlines both aspects as ingredients in a nasty bar fight back in college in a place that I knew all too well. But a report like that needs context, right? Anybody there decades later, how are we going to prove that? Guess what? Chad Luddington. He was there in the bar, part of the incident. And I just spoke to him minutes ago. He happens to be the same Chad Luddington who came forward before this report came out about the police action to say Brett Kavanaugh was not the man he explained to the senators under oath. Here. Chad Luddington, thank you for joining us on Primetime. Let's start with news. Uh, there is a report out there that Brett Kavanaugh is named in a police report about an incident that stemmed from drinking and being angry out one night. Do you know anything about this report? Uh, yes, I do. Um, in fact, I know a great deal about this uh, report. Tell me. Well, um, it all began, uh, that evening began, um, in fact, I know the date now, I found it in the uh, Hartford Current um, program guide for uh, September uh, 1985, and um, uh, Chris Dudley and Brett Kavanaugh and I um, went to a UB40 concert. Um, they were a, a popular uh, reggae band of the 1980s. In any event, um, at something called the Palace Theater, and it was a Wednesday night, uh, so it was sort of an odd night to be going out, but um, the concert was a good one. So after the concert, uh, we went to um, a bar called Demery's, and um, we were drinking, and um, I assume beer, um, but, um, and, uh, um, at some point, we looked over at this fellow who uh, looked very similar to um, the lead singer of UB40, a guy named Ali Campbell. Uh, and we, we kind of give him the eye, looking at this guy, and we're kind of asking, is that really him? Could he be here? And, um, uh, and if so, we'll, we'll introduce ourselves and, um, and, and say, great show, and maybe you know, share a beer with him, whatever. And um, well, uh, he saw us looking at him and, and didn't like uh, the fact that we were looking at them. So he said something like, uh, you know, what the hell are you looking at? And um, I said, uh, oh, we just thought you were the, uh, the lead singer uh, of UB40. Um, and he said something um, fairly aggressive, uh, frankly, uh, you know, I'm not, and um, uh, screw off or something to that um, uh, degree. Um, and um, at that point, um, uh, Brett took umbrage at this and uh, threw his um, beer at the guy. Uh, I actually now found out from the report that it wasn't beer that I had misremembered. It was uh, uh, um, ice cubes and, and whatever the drink was that he was drinking. I guess that is, you know, we weren't drinking water, so it must have been some sort of mixed drink. Um, and, um, well, the fellow, uh, well, says, yeah, yeah Brett, Brett um, said, uh, fuck you, uh, or something to that effect, and um, threw the, threw the uh, ice at the guy. Uh, and um, the guy, understandably, even though he had been uh, aggressive in his response, uh, found that was a little one step too far. So he uh, took a swing at Brett, and then they were kind of a, you know, two guys fighting. But that was all very quick. And then um, at that point, uh, Chris Dudley, who had his drink in his hand, um, proceeded to uh, smash it up against the guy's head. Um, well, um, the melee went on very briefly. Uh, I don't know what Brett was doing exactly, but I was um, uh, pulling, um, I was pulling, um, I, I was pulling uh, uh, Chris back and um, someone else was pulling um, uh, the other guy back. And um, next thing you know, um, uh, there's some shouting and um, I don't know how many minutes it was. It wasn't very many at all, frankly. Uh, the police show up, and um, they look around and ask questions about, you know, uh, who did what. And uh, um, but um, clearly, the big mistake obviously had been um, uh, 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 the smashing of the of the of the glass against the guy's head. So uh, uh, Chris was um, uh, put in a squad car and taken down to jail. Um, but um, 
Brett uh, was questioned and I was questioned and um, uh, uh, I forget exactly um, uh, well, how the sequence turned out, but uh, or, okay. yeah, well, the sequence from there. But um, I, I then called the coach and the coach uh, went down to the station and, um, and picked up Chris you know, an hour or two later and, uh, uh, and that was that. Do you believe Brett Kavanaugh lied to Congress in a material way? Um, yes, I believe that he lied and distorted and dissembled uh, to the Senate Judiciary Committee. How? He obviously said that he, um, he, he obviously acknowledged uh, drinking beer and beer and um, beer, uh, but he also, um, uh, so and he did say on occasion I had too much, and then he also on occasion others had too much, um, but for me, um, he never acknowledged that he, um, that he got to the point uh, that he might not actually remember something. And um, I, th I find that very hard to believe, frankly. I find that impossible to believe, actually. Should it matter? Um, you know, that's uh, not entirely up to me to decide, but I, I don't think that getting drunk in your college year should matter. No, uh, I, I wouldn't be sitting here um, uh, with a coat and tie on, probably, um, if um, that was going to restrict um, you know, what happens to us the rest of our lives. Uh, but I do believe that um, it's fundamentally wrong, uh, indeed illegal, uh, to, um, to lie in front of uh, the Senate Judiciary Committee. Did the FBI reach out to you? Um, yes, at the end of today, uh, about five o'clock, uh, a form showed up in my inbox um, that said, um, uh, you know, requested that I fill out the form uh, with, with um, with my testimony. And so my understanding from here is that um, uh, I fill it out uh, later tonight um, telling the story that I just told you. Um, and um, well, uh, they either call me in uh, or they don't, but um, I'm happy to give that on oath. Um, and um, uh, as I said, I, I, I'm not certain of all the different words that were said. Um, and uh, you know, between people uh, to start that fight, but the general tenor, uh, I know uh, absolutely. Um, well, let's talk about that for a second. You say this is the one specific example, which is obviously bolstered by the fact that it's in the news right now with an alleged report from the police recounting the same event as you remember it. Can you think of any other occasions where Brett Kavanaugh was drunk, to the point where he probably couldn't have remembered what was going on, or was belligerent, or was tough on women. Um, well, remember, Chris, I was probably drinking too much of that time. It was a long time ago, but um, uh, and I've also said it's not a, it's not something I'm judging. Mm -hmm. um, but um, mm -hmm. given that we're, um, the whole claim is that that was never the case. Uh, uh, I would say I have some um, sort of picture images of. Uh, of Brett in a bar called Rudy's uh, that was, um, oh, I forget what name of the street was, but it was a, a popular um, late night watering hole for, um, for many men, uh, hard drinking uh, Yale men and, um, uh, and women too. Uh, what I have is um, uh, many memories of, um, of uh, Brett, um, and again, you know, many of them jovial and laughing uh, but also many um, uh, aggressive too. So uh, it, it's not as if it was all, uh, you know, anger and uh, uh, you know and, and fisticuffs. It was, um, uh, um, you know, there, there was there was the good and the bad. Uh, but but there was definitely um, some aggression, some aggression that did come out uh, quite often uh, when Brett was drunk. You don't remember him ever doing anything. Uh, that was wrong with women, do you? No, I have no recollection uh, of anything like that. I, I can't comment to any of that. And in, in my statement um, uh, that I um, put out yesterday um, and in what I've, um, uh, the draft I have for the FBI has nothing, nothing to do with, 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 with women. Before the lying about his drinking and his habits in school, did you believe that Brett Kavanaugh was a good choice for the Supreme Court? 
Um, well, there too, uh, you know, I, I can't deny that uh, many of his political uh, views are not the ones that I hold, um, but I'm also the kind of person who believes that um, elections have consequences. And, um, um, you know, Donald Trump won the election, uh, Republicans won, and um, despite the fact that I completely disagree with the, uh, what happened with Merrick Garland, um, that's certainly not Brett's fault. All right, Chad, this is very helpful, especially right now. Uh, we'll see what the week brings, but it is very important to paint an accurate picture of the nominee for the Supreme Court. Thank you for helping us. Well, my pleasure. I, I, my pleasure. Chad Ludington. We let him tell the whole story. You know why? Details count. When somebody says they were there, you want to hear everything that they remember. Good, isolated event decades ago. But this all matters right now, and there are a lot of people kind of telling parts of the truth. But I'll tell you what, go online and Google the police report that the New York Times has, and take a look at how squarely it lines up with what Ludington just told you. So what does it mean, what he just told you? Well, there's this central occupation right now of trying to determine, discern how much and how much it matters whether or not Kavanaugh told the truth about his habits. Well, he was under oath. Well, does that make it perjury? Maybe. Should it matter? Maybe. Both are debatable, and we will have a great debate about both next.